hello, hello, it's Emma Holmes at Coaching Rockstars and I am in to talk about videos. And I want to talk about when you should be sharing a link to a video as a YouTube link and when you shouldn't. So when you should be sharing a link to a video as a YouTube link is when you are seeking to grow your YouTube platform. If you're looking to get more views on YouTube, if you're looking to get more subscribers to your YouTube channel, if you're looking to monetize your YouTube videos by way of advertising, then yes, absolutely share a YouTube link. But if you want more eyes on your video, if you want people to watch and engage with your video, on Facebook, then you are much, much, much better downloading the video out of YouTube and bringing it directly into Facebook. So how do you do that? Let's nip over to YouTube. Here we are on my YouTube channel. You can pop over and subscribe if you'd like to. There's lots of videos over there. And I'm going to take um, a video, for example, this one. So what you could do is you could share that video into Facebook directly, you could share it off onto Twitter, or you could take this URL and you could take it over and pop it in. And as I say, this is fabulous if you're looking to build your YouTube presence, but not so good if you want more eyes on your video over on Facebook. So what do you do if you want more eyes on your video? Well, you don't share it in that way. You go, um, back to YouTube, you need to go over to your channel and you need to go into Video Manager. Da, da, da. And as if by magic, you will be in Video Manager. And what you can do is you can grab a download. So you take this little arrow here, download MP4. So if you're automatically saving your videos to YouTube, that's the way to do it. Download the MP4 from YouTube. Then head back over to Facebook and upload video and that video will have downloaded into my downloads. It's downloading here. We can see, so it's busy downloading away. And once that is downloaded completely, we will be ready to upload that into Facebook. So once it's fully downloaded, it'll be available there. For me, it's in my downloads folder. For you, it'll be wherever you download to. I can double click on it and it will start to upload into Facebook for me. So you can see it'll go round and round and round and round and round and round. And it'll bring me a box. I can choose which of the lovely Facebook stills, you know, that one, that one's a corker. <laughs> which stills I want to use on the video itself. They're not giving me very good options. I do sometimes use one where I'm pulling a bit of a funny face because it does um, allow you to grab an element of attention uh, in a news feed. So if people don't have autoplay on videos, it will grab somebody's eye a little bit more if you're pulling a little bit of a funny face. Give the video a title. So what you can do is pop on the, um, the title of your video, which on this one is Fallen Out of Love with your business question mark and video tags so these are a little bit like hashtags so these are things that people might search um, so we might put in small business we might put in business we might put in uh, social media we might put in social media marketing we might put in um, female entrepreneur and those are the tags that our video will be given so that when people search things like they can come across um, searches captions you can upload captions if you want to I tend to not um, use captions all that often and then you can put a little bit of blurb in above so I also do this so that it, it gives people a bit of a flavor of what the post is all about so I will write in here um, do you ever feel like you have fallen a little bit out of love with your business? Check out this video where I'll help you to identify that feeling and give you some hints and tips about what you can do about it. 
and then I always sign my posts off. Uh, I like a good emoji. On there, and then you can schedule that to publish as and when you want. I think I'm going to put that one in there at 7:43 p.m. Schedule, and then that will schedule in the same way as any of your um, Facebook posts do. And that is how you would take your video from YouTube and put it directly into Facebook. Speak soon. Bye for now.